the blossoming and withering of Akojua's love. Akojua was a bright young woman from a small village in the eastern region of Ghana. Born into a family of farmers, her life was simple, revolving around the rhythms of the seasons and the stories passed down from her ancestors. Yet, she harbored dreams far beyond the horizon of her village, dreams of education and a future she could carve out on her own. With determination, Akojua excelled in her studies, eventually earning a scholarship to the University of Ghana. The bustling city of Accra, with its noise, lights, and opportunities, was a world away from her quiet village. But Akojua was undaunted, embracing her new life with the same tenacity that had brought her there. It was at the university that she met Kwame, a charming and ambitious law student. Kwame was everything Akojua had never known, a man of the world, confident and eloquent, with dreams that seemed to align with hers. Their connection was immediate, a spark that quickly ignited into a full-blown romance. Kwame introduced Akojua to a side of life she had only imagined, late-night talks about their future, shared meals at hidden spots in the city, and promises whispered in the darkness. For the first time, Akojua felt truly seen and understood. She believed she had found a partner who would walk beside her, someone who shared her dreams and would help her navigate the complexities of this new world. Kwame's words were sweet, his gestures tender, and Akojua found herself falling deeply in love. But as time passed, cracks began to appear in their seemingly perfect relationship. Kwame became distant, his attention divided between his studies, friends, and the pressures of city life. Akojua, once his priority, now seemed like an afterthought. She tried to reach out, to rekindle the connection they once had, but Kwame always had an excuse, an assignment, a meeting, or simply needing space. The final blow came one evening when Akojua overheard a conversation between Kwame and his friends. They spoke of her with a dismissiveness that cut deep, mocking her village background and questioning her place in Kwame's life. It was clear to Akojua then that Kwame had never truly seen her as an equal, but rather as a fleeting infatuation, something to be experienced and discarded. Heartbroken, Akojua confronted Kwame, but his response was cold and detached. He admitted that their relationship had been a passing phase for him, a distraction from the pressures of university life. He did not see a future with her, nor did he wish to continue pretending. Crushed by the weight of his words, Akojua realized that the love she had believed in was one-sided, built on her hopes rather than mutual respect. She walked away, her heart heavy, but her resolve unbroken. Akojua returned to her studies with renewed focus, determined to succeed for herself and her family. Though her love story had ended in disappointment, Akojua knew it was not the end of her journey. She would continue to chase her dreams, not for the approval of others, but for the fulfillment of her own destiny.